Hello, everyone, and welcome to the webinar today on Pinnacle Series by Eagle Point. SolidCAD is extremely excited about our latest partnership with Eagle Point for the product. Uh, we feel it's something that the market can truly leverage, as well as as markets change because of COVID and other reasons to work from home or more remotely, it's just going to make it easier for people to learn about some of the applications and use the platform. Next slide, please. So my name is Michael Rotolo. I'm the National Director for AEC at SolidCAD. I've, I've been with SolidCAD for over 15 years, and I help manage the architecture, engineering, and construction side of the business. With us today is Rose and Haley. Rose, would you like to give yourself an introduction? Yeah, of course. Thank you, Michael. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Rose Otto. I'm the partner manager working with uh, SolidCAD. So a uh, pleasure to, uh, to present all of you to, to, to present to all of you today. So thank you again and uh, enjoy this presentation. Yes, and good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are in the world today. Uh, my name is Haley Lundgren. I am a customer success manager with Eagle Point. I assist organizations with the overall digital transformation of any technologies that they're utilizing uh, through the Pinnacle Series solution. So I will actually be showing you exactly how to utilize the Pinnacle Series today. And I'm very excited to show everyone more about our solutions going forward. Great. Thank you, Rose and Haley. So again, the agenda for today, we've done the introductions, just a quick overview of SolidCAD. I um, want to explain who Eagle Point is and their product Pinnacle Series, and Haley will take us through that with some uh, features and benefits and an overview of the platform. And then at the end, we'll have some time for some Q&A, uh, so you can ask your questions. Next slide, please. So many of you may already know who SolidCAD is. Uh, most people recognize us as the Autodesk Platinum Partner here in Canada. Many of you may not realize we are also a Platinum Partner for Bluebeam, which is a, a, a software that a lot of our customers do use for PDF workflows and collaboration. But we also have a wide variety of other products that work really well within the Autodesk and Bluebeam portfolio. And here's just a small sampling of them. Next slide, please. SolidCAD also covers a wide variety of industries. Uh, I've noted and mentioned the AEC industry, but we also do a lot with manufacturing, plant, and infrastructure. And I'm finding it very interesting these days that these interesting in industries are starting to intertwine. Uh, there's a lot of construction happening that requires manufactured parts and pieces of prefab and modular. And now that's starting to come to light these days. So as I said, it is getting interesting. Next slide. And SolidCAD not only provides the product, but we, we do provide services around that as well. Um, we do have BIM services, which I know is a, it can be a generic term, but we do a lot of consulting and getting people up to speed on BIM technologies. We also help them make their BIM workflows and processes and map that out. We're also doing a lot of uh, assessments these days around how the current existing usage of the software is being used and how it can be applied for future considerations and requirements. And with that, I'll pass it on to Rose to go over a little bit more on Eagle Point. Thank you, Michael. Yes, yeah, so I want to quickly go over Eagle Point Software, the company behind the Pinnacle Series, to give you an understanding of where we come from. So we've been in business since 1983. We're a company of architects, engineers, construction managers, cons um, customer success managers like Haley, uh, and developers. So we create our own platform, we create our own content, and you might recognize our name from the Autodesk add-ons that we developed in the past. Um, but in 2006, we shifted our focus to the Pinnacle series, and that platform has over 230,000 users globally today, which is very exciting. Um, we are so excited about our partnership with solid CAD and um, meet clients in Canada. And um, a couple of things that I'd like to go over as well is that we are one of the founding members of the Autodesk Developer Network, which means that we work very closely with Autodesk, get early access to their new releases, which means our content 
is um, you know published right after theirs is, um, and we were also one of the uh, you know author uh, uh, authorized publishers uh, by Autodesk. So um, just to give you some background on uh, on the company behind Pinnacle Series, and with that, I'm going to turn it over to Haley to go over the challenges or um, yeah issues that Pinnacle Series was designed to solve, and then she'll dive right into the platform. All right, thank you so much for that introduction of Eagle Point Rose. And for everyone joining today, I do find it very valuable to start with the overall, a high level overview of the foundations of how Pinnacle Series has evolved into the solution that it is today, before jumping into the solution, showing you exactly how to utilize it. Um, so I do wanna emphasize that Pinnacle Series starts as an e-learning solution, but it goes above and beyond that. So the three common challenge areas that re we really hone in on is assisting organizations to provide a continuous learning experience, also have the ability to capture and share knowledge and help organizations to ultimately increase productivity. So just to briefly unpack those three common challenge areas, I do wanna start with the idea of enhancing continuous learning. When you think of a training experience today, the only, change, the only constant in today's world is really change. So how are we able to ensure that we can stay up to date with those changes that are happening today? So whether you are implementing a new technology, whether you're adopting a new version year of a technology, or thinking about how we're getting those new hires up to speed and ready to take on project work. So really having the ability to provide a quality training solution to build a quality workforce is going to be able, is going to be very important in today's world. And then where we go next is the ability to capture and share knowledge. And this area has become very apparent for organizations who have several office locations or, or share work between teams, because it is a challenge to grab expertise or skill sets from one individual in one office location and have the ability to share out that wealth of knowledge across the organization for staff to easily access that knowledge anytime and anywhere that they are to ensure that everyone is always staying up to date with the best practices and uh, operations procedures that you're following. And then at the end of the day, it's really all about productivity and finding ways to allow staff to work smarter and become more efficient within their project work. So above a structured learning uh, challenge, there's also a direct challenge associated with training when it comes to keeping staff billable and in production. So the concept around just-in-time training or on-demand learning is really where we were able to provide project-specific support. So we want to make sure that staff can improve the overall con modeling consistency for their project work and above that structured learning experience, make sure that they can get specific support when they are ready to be in their project work. And then also make sure on the back end, everything is really measurable. So we can measure how training is really going to be impacting your project work so that deliverables are reaching deadlines, projects are being completed under budget and really with the quality work that to help achieve your overall business goals. So that is a high level overview of really how, what Pinnacle Series has evolved into a solution as. Uh, so for the remainder of the time, I wanna jump into the Pinnacle Series solution and talk a little bit about how to utilize this from both an end user's perspective, as well as from a manager's perspective. Um, and I do wanna reiterate that if you do have any questions throughout this presentation, feel free to chat those in and there will be allotted time at the end of the presentation to follow, um, follow up and address any of those questions that come through. So jumping into the solution and thinking a little bit about how we can start utilizing this to assist organizations with those three common challenge areas around continuous learning, knowledge capture and sharing and helping increase productivity. I wanna do a, a brief tour around the home screen just to get you familiarized with the Pinnacle Series solution. I first wanna note that Pinnacle Series is a completely brandable uh, interface. So we wanna be able to make this look and feel like an internal trusted solution for organizations. So that means incorporate your own images um, as well as branding themes. So this, this is going to look and feel like a trusted solution for staff. 
Pinnacle Series is also a browser-based solution, and this makes the platform very easily accessible, whether staff are working from home, they're in the office, um, or simply having access to a to a on a mobile device to the internet, they're going to be able to log in and access all the same trainings and resources available within the platform. I will also note that anywhere that staff are, if they do have a different preferred language, we do support over 65 different languages within the Pinnacle Series solution that can be set by an individual user anywhere that they are. That will automatically be translated at an individual user level. Now, navigating through this solution, I first want to point out um, something that's called an asset library. And this is going to be a place to organize the different trainings and resources for a group of people around a specific technology. So first off, you have the capability of building out your own custom libraries. If you choose to publish your, your internal best practices, standards, um, any training resources that you may have already created, you can easily import those and publish them within the Pinnacle Series solution and organize that into a library to make solutions very easily browsable for staff. But out of the box, you're going to be provided a lot of value within your Pinnacle Series solution. So I want to point out the different libraries that can be subscribed to and available out of the box. It does go above and beyond the Autodesk technologies. So Bluebeam, for example, is going to be provided with different resources that you'll have access to and can take advantage of. Some additional libraries that I'll point out, um, we do have the Autodesk Construction Cloud available. These will all come pre-packaged out of the box full of different resources that have been created and vetted by subject experts. As Rose had mentioned, we employ architects and engineers who stay up to date with these technologies and publish them to be made available through your subscription to Pinnacle Series. So we do provide different version years of technologies. We understand organizations still have projects that will require an older version year. So we wanna ensure that you can access resources of, that are applicable to those um, project specific version years. Otherwise we can turn off those older version years and ensure you're accessing the latest and greatest. The resources available within uh, these libraries are going to, to be uh, structured learning paths to teach a new skill of how to use this new technology. There's also workflows. These are documenting uh, best practices and standard operating procedures of how to utilize the technology. There's hundreds of documents, and these are bite-sized, easily consumable bits of information. It will be documents covering frequently asked questions and how-to documents. And then videos within Pinnacle Series, we believe in providing a micro-learning experience. So videos will be five minutes or less to ensure you can get a quick uh, solution around a specific task and a technology and get back on to project work. So as I mentioned, there are a variety of different libraries that you can subscribe to that will come prepackaged out of the box full of different resources to take advantage of on day one of your subscription. But focusing our attention now on that first common challenge around continuous learning. I wanna note that staff can be enrolled into learning a few different ways within Pinnacle Series. They have the capability of self-enrolling, otherwise a manager can also assign them learning. Either way, that learning experience will sit on their home screen in their My Learning area. They can pick up uh, and uh, pick up with that learning experience as they have time. So I wanna note, that I do not have to complete learning all within one sitting. And jumping into one of these learning experiences, I wanna highlight how training is being delivered within Pinnacle Series. You will have your training curriculum listed here on the left. It's going to consist of written text-based documentation. There is also video content to teach a new skill about this technology. Courses will also consist with downloadable exercises in both metric and imperial unit to practice the new skills that were learned throughout this course. And then at the end, we follow up with a quiz to validate the new skills that were learned. 
And throughout this presentation, I will circle back to the concept around customization quite a few times. We provide training at a global scale of how to use these technologies, but we wanna ensure that training can also be provided according to your, your specific way. So your company's best practices or how you really want to train your teams. So what we can actually do is elevate permissions for your subject experts to have access to easily manage content on the back end of Pinnacle series. So any of those subject experts with those elevated permissions would have the functionality to incorporate any of your own custom training materials. So what I recommend doing is harvesting any custom materials that are up to date. We support universal documents. So with the simple drag and drop in, you can publish those within the Pinnacle series solution, any Word documents, PDF documents, HTML files, Excel spreadsheets. With a quick drag and drop, you can publish those. Same will hold true with videos, MP4 files that you may have on, uh, stored somewhere. You can always publish those within the Pinnacle series solution. And when it comes to building out that structured learning experience, you can choose to build this completely from scratch. You can import a SCORM file if you have those. Otherwise, you can choose to copy down any of the content that our subject experts have published out of the box and modify from there. The way we organize is going to be by folder, uh, a folder structure based on technology and version year. So in this instance, I can choose to navigate to Revit thinking of my beginner levels, maybe new hires coming on board, what I can do is copy down this learning path and begin to customize from there. So it is going to really be our way of training. So maybe there's a course not relevant for your organization. We can simply remove that full course. Otherwise, if we want to further customize this introduction to Revit for this example, I can highlight the specific course and further modify standalone course content within here. I can choose to remove a video or even add in any of those custom resources I just published within the platform. So I can simply apply those and really build out what that training experience is going to look like, even incorporate a welcome to the team video. So I can quick and easily customize any of the resources or in this instance, a structured learning experience available within Pinnacle series. But from there, I can choose to either publish this for staff to self-enroll. Otherwise, any manager in charge of assigning and overseeing training would have the capability to assign courses within Pinnacle series. When I assign a course, I can assign out of the public materials Otherwise, assign any of those custom courses. So here was the one we just went ahead and began to modify. I can assign this out to individual users or groups of people who have been created to have access to Pinnacle series. I can assign a due date to help hold staff accountable with completing their learning experience and then also ensure the assigner is going to stay up to date with what is being completed for that learning experience for team members. Now to take learning one step further, I wanna point out that we've actually integrated with a platform called Knowledge Smart. They are a global leader in AEC assessments. And through that partnership, we've been able to um, incorporate the assessment aspect. And this will come into play to benchmark skills and build overall skills matrices. It is a fully customizable platform as well, but they have also published assessments out of the box based on subject experts within the industries. So you may choose to take advantage of what's been published out of the box or build your own assessments. But the power of doing this is you can assign it by groups. And really when you think of a group of people who utilize a technology, you have everything from your subject experts to your beginner levels of, of who is accessing a technology. So what we wanna do is ensure that we can provide a personalized experience for those users. So another great added functionality is the ability to assign assessments by interviewee. So if you want it to um, 
really validate the skills that candidates claim they have on their resume. This is a great added functionality. But now when assigning this assessment for groups of people within your organization, they will be walked through that assessment through task-based and knowledge-based questions. So those questions will address, do you know, and can you do this within the technology? Based on the results, it's going to identify where their strengths are of a technology, but it's also going to identify their weaknesses or what we call skills gaps. And based on those skills gaps results, they will be assigned a personalized learning experience within the Pinnacle Series solution. So I'm currently enrolled in a few courses that have a Knowledge Smart trophy assigned to them. And that is to highlight the fact that I went through and completed my Knowledge Smart assessment before being enrolled into a learning experience. So for this example, I'll show an inventor uh, learning path that I've been assigned into. It is a personalized course based on my skills gaps. So I wanna point out that I'm currently enrolled in five out of seven courses. So I tested out of two full courses within this learning experience because those were strengths of mine already. If I also expand on the show all topics here, I wanna point out that not only do I test out of full courses, I'm testing out of standalone course content. So now I only need to focus my attention to fill the skills gaps and learn the skills that I don't know, rather than relearning something that I already know. So again, this is a very valuable tool that we've integrated with to ensure that we can really personalize the learning experience for staff. And to bring learning full circle, I also wanna point out that we've incorporated what's called a live events widget. And the live events is going to be a, an area where you can publish upcoming live training sessions. So maybe you have any training sessions by your subject experts internally, or a vendor may be putting on those training sessions. But we wanna be able to complement e-learning with live training. So to show how these will, will appear for staff, they will have access to view any of these upcoming training sessions. We can identify the topic, the presenter, where this is going to be located, provide an overall description of the event, but also have the capability to establish prerequisites to ensure that staff attending, registering and attending this are really going to come in to have the fundamentals already established to ensure you're having the most productive live training session. We are able to collect a lot of pre-registration information. So the presenter is really able to understand what his or her audience is hoping to learn by attending this training session. And from here, everything is being tracked. So on we're tracking who's registering, who's attending, what the pre-registration information is. And after the event, we can also send out a survey and collect all of that information as well. So now back on the back end of the platform, I wanna highlight that the appropriate users with the appropriate permissions will have access to our learning reports. And learning reports is really going to document everything structured learning related within the Pinnacle Series solution. So if I drag this onto my machine screen here, I wanna point out that we're, um, actually reporting on all the current enrollments within Pinnacle Series, what's been completed within the platform, who the top learners are, how much time has been spent in learning, what's currently in progress, and we're also going to be able to, to document on those upcoming training sessions or what's been completed so far for live training. You'll also be able to jump into specific report details, and this is going to allow you to filter reports and get into more of the raw data. So we can filter based on individual users or groups of people to easily export reports. And from here, we can navigate into more of the raw data to see specific courses that have been completed, who it was completed by, when it was completed, if staff consumed 100% of the learning materials, and if there was a quiz associated with the learning, how did they score on that quiz? And then from here, all of this data can easily be exported to an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV file um, for any uh, tracking capabilities. If you're tracking all of this data somewhere, 
centrally, you're going to be able to track that anywhere that you would like to do so. So that is really focusing our attention around the first common challenge of how to provide a continuous learning experience for any of the different reasons that training is going to be relevant. But from, from there, I really want to mention that when it comes to training, training is a small amount of staff's time. So for the most part, we want to ensure that after they've completed their structured learning experience, they're still able to utilize Pinnacle Series to support them directly within their project work. And so in that instance, when staff are, are in their project, they're able to access different resources to support them when they come across a roadblock by either browsing through the different libraries, like I highlighted before, or they can use the search engine to run a search on keywords of what they're stuck on. They're able to filter based on who is publishing content. So if you choose to capture your subject experts knowledge and publish that within Pinnacle Series, we will be able to filter on your organization's name. It'll also outline who different resources are being published by. My best practice is to actually filter based on a technology. So Revit 2021 in this instance is on my machine. And I can also filter based on the different resources available. So if I jump into a, a document in this instance, it might be a frequently asked question or a how-to document. If this is not exactly what staff are looking for, there is going to be a related item to further navigate into different solutions. Above documents, there's um, also going to be hundreds of videos that are available within Pinnacle Series. Videos, again, are being provided through a micro learning experience. So there'll be five minutes or less to ensure that staff can learn a specific task or follow along a specific task about a technology and get back on to their project work. All videos will also be transcribed. So staff are capable of reading along with the transcription or skip ahead to the right point in time of the video or navigate back. With the transcription, we can also translate the video. So the transcription would be translated into those um, 65 different languages that we do support. We can also ensure that through the translation, the closed captioning is also going to be translated. So that's what that experience will look like. If you choose to publish your own custom MP4 files, you will be able to auto transcribe the transcription and that transcription will also then be capable of being translated into different languages. To help with the overall collaboration aspect of different resources, you're able to share every, resources, every resource available within the solution a few different ways out to your um, other team members. And the last resource that I would like to cover and available within Pinnacle Series is going to be our workflows. And these are really my favorite resources published. Workflows are going to be a way to document best practices and follow along with standard operating procedures. So the way that we view a workflow is you have your workflow tree here on the left that's outlining different processes. You'll also have a visual flow chart in the center to guide users through those best practices. So they can choose to navigate through the, the flow chart and be provided with the written steps and tasks. So those instructions that they need to be following along. There will be reference materials to get them a quick um, you know, resource to also highlight how to execute that step or task. They can follow through um, the workflow tree if preferred. But there are also some very beneficial embedded tools that I would like to point out. Not only are staff being guided through best practices, I also want to point out that there are specific command IDs that we have embedded to ensure that staff are not only following the best practices, they're also being taken to the right command at the right point in time. So when I selected the collaborate command, it took me directly to that point in time within my project. So that is a very powerful tool that's been embedded within our workflows. And as I mentioned, it is a fully customizable platform. 
So you can take advantage of the workflows that we've published out of the box for the different technologies. So for AutoCAD and for Civil 3D, these are all available. And you can choose to copy down what we have published and modify that out of the box so you do not have to start from scratch. You can really identify your organization's best practices to be published here. You can also identify who your internal subject experts are to ensure that staff viewing these resources also know your internal subject experts to reach out to. Now, the last place that I'd like to highlight is going to be the work groups on the, the user interface. And work groups will be a great place to collaborate for a group of people. So maybe it's a group of people going through a graduate program that you've established within your organization, a group of people going through safety training, or it could be a group of people who are working on a specific project. So if I jump into a project specific work group that I've created and thinking about everything that I can share here, I can share the appropriate best practices, the standards and any learning materials associated to this project. So I went ahead and organized a BIM checklist, our best practices of utilizing the technology required for this project, and even the courses relevant to this specific project. From here, I can build out my members. So who are my internal team members that are going to be able to, um, that are working on this project together? Many organizations often work with external subconsultants and subcontractors. So we've added the capability of inviting in those subconsultants and subcontractors. So they also have direct insight into the project standards and the learning materials that's required for this project. Any external users will only have access to the resources that have been published for this specific work group, rather than everything that's been published within Pinnacle series. There is also a discussion thread to ensure that there is overall collaboration around this specific project. And anytime there is a change associated to a work group, every user that is a member of the work group will receive a notification. So they're always up to date with this specific project. A couple other great added um, functionalities I wanna point out is for any staff who might um, be offline for some time, we do have the capability of downloading any of the resources for offline viewing. So maybe um, any upcoming travels that you might have uh, and you're offline, or if you're going onto a job site and have a tablet, we do have the capability of providing access to those resources. But another really great feature I wanna point out is we wanna ensure staff are getting the right support at the right point in time in their project work. So we have integrated what's called a related learning topics plugin that will work in Revit, Civil 3D and AutoCAD. And what this does is provides users with a contextual learning experience in their project. So it follows along and understands the commands that they are running within their project and suggested, suggesting learning materials that they should consume to move on and get to the next step in their project. So this helps ensure that if they're newer to the technology and they're not too sure what to do next, or maybe they're not familiar with the keywords to search on, this will help take the guesswork out of the equation. If they don't want to see this, they can simply minimize the related learning plugin, go, go throughout their project work. And if they do get stuck, they can bring this back up to get the suggested learning materials. And last, I wanna point out that we did highlight the learning report previously. There is a second report type that you'll have access to within Pinnacle series, and that is our usage report. And usage report is actually tracking everything being done within Pinnacle series. So we have an overview of who is logging in and how often they log in. And when they do log in, what resources are they accessing? So did they log in to access a workflow, a document, a video, or was it the structured learning? We're also reporting on the top searches. So if they utilize the search engine, what were the keywords being run for that search? And this provides a lot of insight into additional uh, custom learning opportunities for your teams. We're reporting on the most accessed content. 
some of the most popular content in the platform, and even who has access to Pinnacle series over time. So from an IT standpoint, we can easily configure Pinnacle series. We have the capability of choosing to manually manage users via a spreadsheet import, or we have the capability of syncing with your Active Directory and automating the sync. So anyone new to your organization or anyone leaving the organization would automatically be filtered in and out. We can also configure single sign-on. So, so staff do not have to remember another password. And then from a permission standpoint, we're going to be able to ensure the appropriate groups of people have the appropriate elevated permissions within the platform. Let's see. And for that, I do want to circle back and just talk a little bit about everything from a summary aspect of what we've covered so far. So just to highlight everything within Pinnacle series. We really hone in on providing a solution for continuous learning, capturing and sharing knowledge, and to help organizations to increase, increase productivity. Through that, you can use a variety of different features within the platform, whether it is the structured learning paths, the micro learning for videos, um, easily consumable documents, the assessments aspect to benchmark skills and build those skills matrices, work groups for overall group collaboration, the live events for a blended learning environment, and the robust re reports that are also being provided within the Pinnacle Series solution. And with that, I'll hand it over to Rose to talk a little bit more about our subscription model. Thank you so much, Haley, for an awesome presentation. So a couple of things that I'd like to cover with regards to the subscription model of Pinnacle Series is that, first of all, you get unlimited access for all your employees uh, to the Pinnacle Series solution. And as Haley showed you today, um, it's highly customizable. So you can pick and choose your asset libraries, turn off version years, upload your own standards, documents, videos, training materials, and content is available in over 60 languages. So French Canadian is for example, our Canadian French is available in uh, the platform as well. Haley went over, you know, the great reporting that's available to you and your staff. Um, we have, you know, some nice integrations with Active Directory. So you have one last password to remember with single sign-on options. There's an open API um, and we have unlimited cloud storage and unlimited content customization for you as well. So those are just a couple of high level things about our subscription model, but uh, everybody at SolidCAD can help clarify some things if needed and answer any questions. So with that, I will turn it over to Michael. Great, thank you very much, Rose. Um, so as, as we've gone through this, uh, th thank you for highlighting some of the great features of the Pinnacle series. So 14 day trials are available. If anyone is interested, please email sales at solidcad.ca. Uh, we can talk to you about enterprise licensing and some of the other model, uh, licensing models as well. We can always bring Rose in and Haley back in to talk to you one-on-one -on -one as well to uh, get a better understanding of the platform. I guess we would like to maybe open it up right now for questions. Um, just checking the panel doesn't look like we've had any, but I myself actually have a question because, you know, you talked about creating your own content. So I'll open it up to either Rose or Haley. I want to ask a question around security. How secure is the content that I could publish on there? Rose, would you like to take that one? Yeah, of course. So all of our, um, all, all our content, the platform is backed by Microsoft Azure. Um, so it's super secure and all that content that you're op uploading, nobody else has access to. Um, and if you do, you know, do choose to export it out at, at some time, you can do that as well. So everything stays in the platform. Uh, it's backed up in the cloud um, and secure. So every, all, all the content you're uploading as well is, is your own and won't be shared anywhere else. I hope that answers it. Yeah, that's great. And I think I had one more question is about the courses themselves. Are they accredited? So can I get something for an association that I, 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 I'm a part of? Yeah, so Haley will, look, will show you actually some of the, the accredited courses here. 
Um, so there's a couple of ways that Haley, you might be able to touch on as well. And then um, I know that there are some, you know, funds you can apply for in Canada as well. And that's definitely something that can be done too. So I'll turn it over to you, Haley, to kind of talk about uh, the accreditations. Absolutely. And we certainly have accredited course content. We are AIA accredited as well as CPD accredited. So in my learning center, I'm able to see that there are those two <laughs> options for accreditation courses. Anyone enrolled within those courses would be able to easily be provided with a certificate of completion for their learning. So within the learning centers, staff will have the capability of downloading their entire enrollment history. So through time, what learning have they completed within Pinnacle Series? To be provided with a certificate of completion, I want to note that staff will need to consume 100% of the content associated to a course in order to be provided with a certificate of completion. So in this instance, I did not receive a certificate of completion. So any of those AIA accredited courses or CPD accredited courses, staff would need to consume 100% of the content and they would also um, need to complete the full course in order to be provided with a certificate of completion that will be that will have an overview of um, the specific accredited hours that they're being provided. It's a great Perfect. question. Perfect. Thank you, Haley. So actually, I'd like to thank both Haley and Rose for participating in the webinar. Uh, we will, SolidCAD will be sending out a recording of the webinar to everyone who attended and actually anyone who signed up as well. So if you'd like to share this information with others within your firm, um, totally available to do that. Again, if you want to reach out back to SolidCAD for any other questions, the email is sales at solidcad.ca. And with that, thank you very much for joining in the webinar today. Have a good week, everyone.